In this video, I'm going for a solo hike and I'm testing out a new camera that works like magic. Its full title is the Insta360 ONE RS 1-inch 360 edition, which is a mouthful, yes. So I will be referring to it as the Insta360 ONE-inch. And whenever you see this little badge on screen, that's when you know I was using it for a particular shot. Today I'm on the hunt, the hunt for an incredible mountain top sunset, hopefully up there on Sleeve Binion. And I may have hit the jackpot today with the weather because there's very little wind, completely clear skies all the way through to sunset and a crispy coating of snow on the top of the mountain. It's gonna look absolutely epic at sunset and you are gonna to get to come along with me on my little adventure today. And uh, as an outdoors filmmaker, adventure filmmaker, whatever, you want to call me. Um, I'm always looking for new cameras, new techniques, and new ways of showing off for the environment. And today, I've got this with me. This is the Insta360 RS 1-inch edition 360 camera. And just in case you're not familiar with how a 360 camera works, it's a camera with two lenses either side that captures everything in both directions, 360 degrees. If you attach it to a long pole, which disappears in a blind spot between the two lenses, you can create all kinds of incredible shots that would otherwise be impossible or require a lot more equipment. Or even just set it on a tripod and animate the reframing for a panning shot without needing someone to move a camera. And you can then reframe and export that 360 video into a standard 16x9 video or vertical video. And you can do that with a smartphone app or a desktop app, which gives you the best quality. And this is the best 360 camera I've ever used because much as I love its baby brother, the, uh, the fantastic little Insta360 X3, which is really excellent if you need something small, lightweight. I've always wished I would be able to get higher image quality out of the camera. And this is what this does because this has got two one inch sensors either side of this shooting a fantastic 6k video with bigger pixels that's going to give me better color information better dynamic range and significantly for a 360 camera much better low light performance so i can't wait to see how it does on our hike today and so uh, i need to get up to the top of that mountain within the next two hours so let's go whoa this is so weird. There's so many weird, there's so much weird stuff going on here. This is the blue lock and immediately I can see these really weird looking ice formations and I can see this weird line run along the top of it. What on earth? I'm very, much, very, very glad that I brought my ice spikes or my micro spikes because if I wasn't wearing these, I would not be walking on this. Just 
bumped into Sarah, the Morn Ranger. Morn Rangers, keeping you safe, Hello. up in the mountains, <laughs> offering advice, that kind of thing. Was that, that kind of the gist of it? That's kind of the gist of it, yeah. <laughs> the gist of it. Morn Rangers, do a good job. Thanks, Morn Rangers. Thank you. And then I walked off. Bumped into Phil. Hey. It's Phil. that view and I've just realized that I only have oh, only 30 minutes to get some opinions so I think I just need to hurry up or I'm not gonna get there in time. Off we go! I need to get to the summit in the next 10 minutes. Look at that! That is beautiful! Whoa! That was close. I'm okay, folks. Okay, you gotta admit, that was pretty epic and definitely enhanced by the fact I have this new Insta360 one inch camera. And I suppose the question is, who is this actually for? Because in the past I've talked about how great the X3 is, but the X3 is fantastic for like runners, cyclists, people out doing action sports or people who just want something smaller, more lightweight or who are just on a tighter budget. On the other hand, if you're an explorer, a hiker, a photographer, a filmmaker who maybe doing something a bit slower paced, who really appreciates the unique uh, contribution that 360 footage can make, but you want the best quality possible in still a pretty small package. The Insta360 one inch edition is probably the 360 camera for you. And I know this is gonna be my go-to 360 camera for those kinds of activities. And if you'd like to get your own, there's a link down the description. And if you buy your camera through that link, I think you get a free selfie stick or a case or something like that from Insta360. Okay, and back to me on that chilly summit, enjoying the last light of the evening.
Well, that was a near perfect day. It's just a shame with that low line cloud that appeared there, but yeah. This is definitely the most epic sunset I've managed to have up in top of Binion. And just look at the frosty conditions. I got these, I don't know what you'd call these, I call them like frost feathers. They're like feathers made of ice. Hope you enjoyed that little adventure video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the channel members who uh, support the channel on a monthly basis. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hopefully that maybe inspired you to get out and, I don't know, maybe start hiking or explore a little bit. And if it does, well, maybe someday I'll catch you on the top of a summit watching an epic sunrise. Sunrise? Sunset, you idiot. <laughs>